A good communication strategy is absolutely critical to the communications work of any project in international development cooperation. It's essential for your project to achieve all those results it's supposed to achieve. Now, how does a good communication strategy actually work? Well, first of all, its central function is that it translates certain key overall goals of your project into communications goals. And then it provides clear guidance on how to best get your messages to your audience, ensuring that your messages are understood, remembered and move people into some kind of action. And finally, it helps you sufficiently plan all your activities. Planning requires considering which information you want conveyed, who it is said to and what you want people to do once they hurt you. Now, if you have some experience in development cooperation already, you probably think now, wait a minute, Pascal, what about all the work that goes into our fancy annual reports and all the infos that we send to our clients every month? According to your definition, this kind of communication doesn't qualify to be included in a good communication strategy. Yes, this is a main point of what we're going to talk about here. Make your project's communication strategic. Declutter your strategy of non-strategic activity. Hi, I'm Pascal Corbet, founder of Corbicoms and Learn Development Communications. And I've worked in communications within international development cooperation for 20 plus years now. In this course on communication strategy for development projects, you will learn how to proactively plan for excellent communication outcomes. You'll see what goes into a great communication strategy and how to carry out effective activity that helps your project reach its goals. Mm -hmm.